here we have a geometric progression for which the common ratio is positive, so we know this is positive, and the common ratio is simply the value of r, right? We have to know this. Now we know that the type of progression we have to work with is a geometric progression. That is a very good thing. That's the first step, that we have to know what kind of progression we have for the question. Now, once we know this, let's first write down all the formulas that we know for this kind of progression. So we have the n term is given to you by a r power n minus 1 and the sum to infinity is a over 1 minus r for r is less than 1. This is the given formulas we have for this kind of progression. Again, this is given to you. You don't need to memorize. However, if you memorize them, you will just um, waste less time. Again, anyways, let's move on with the question. Here we have the second term is 18. So second term, t of 2, that will be 18. And the fourth term, so t of 4, that will be the value of 8. So we have these two as given information. So using these information, part one, we have to find the first term, which is the value of a, and the common ratio, which is the value of r of the geometric progression. So pretty easy, using these given values. First one, term number two is 18. So it means that when the value of n is equal to two, the term is equal to 18. Replace back in the first equation. So t n is two is equal to a we don't know, r we don't know, n is 2 minus 1 is 1, it is supposed to give you the value of 18. So a times r is 18, that will be my equation number 1. Now moving on to part 2, what do we have? Same thing, a fourth term is 8, so t4 is equal to 8. Great. When the value of n is equal to 4, the value of t is equal to the value of 8. So term of 4, when n is equal to 4, a we don't know, replace obviously we're replacing back in the same formula right here, r we don't know, and the power is n minus 1, n is 4 minus 1 is 3, is going to be given to you by the value of 8. So a times r power 3 is equal to 8, that is my equation number 2. Now when you have two equations, we have two unknowns, we are trying to solve these equations simultaneously to find the value of a and r. So let's try this. So what can I do here? Mm, let's think. So I can do, let's do a is equal to the value of 18 divided by r. That's the first step. Now we can replace the a here. So a is also equal to 18 over r times r cubed equal to the value of 8. Simplify this, we'll cancel out with this, you will have r square will be 8 over 18 divided by 2, that will be 4 over 9. So here you can see r have to be the value of 2 over over 3. Because we know the common ratio is positive, we will not take into account the negative value, we'll only take this one value. Okay, great. That will be part 1. Now we have to find also find the value of a a is equal to 18 divided by 2 over 3. So simplify. Obviously, I would always recommend using your calculator because even if you know how to do it, it's not worth you taking a risk. That will be 27. So here we conclude part 1. A is equal to 27 and R is equal to 2 over 3 for part 1. Now for part 2, we have to find the sum to infinity of the progression. Now let's move on. So part two of the question, sum to infinity is what? Okay, let's think. That will be simply given by the formula we have, which is a, which is a over one minus r. A is given to you, or was found to be 27, divided by one minus r is two over three. Let's see, what do we get? 27 divided by one minus two over three. That will be 18 as your value for the sum to infinity. Okay, and that will be the question involving the series, which is a geometric progression for these kind of questions. So it's pretty easy. As always, first thing we have to know the type, and here it is mentioned it is GP, and then we write down all the formulas we know about this progression, and then we use the given values to proceed to find the required answers.